Chickadees are one of the most awesome birds around. They are cute, curious, friendly, smart, and talkative little birds. Over the years, plenty of research have went into the vocalizations of chickadees, and researchers have reported that these little guys use one of the most sophisticated signaling systems discovered among animals. One species that is very widespread and familiar to a lot of people is the black-capped chickadee, which is the one I will be talking about in this video. They have at least 16 different vocalizations, but I'm only going to go over 8 of their vocalizations in this video because I only have recordings of 8 out of the 16 different calls they make. Enjoy! Everyone's familiar with this call. It's the one chickadees make most frequently and is where they got their name. Males and females make this call, which can be heard all throughout the year, but much more so in fall and winter. It may seem like a simple call to our ears, but it's actually quite a complex and variable one, serving multiple functions. There are four possible note types within this call that can be arranged in many combinations with variable numbers of repeats. Because of this recombinant system of different notes allowing an open-ended variety of chickadee call types, this call has been likened to human language. Chickadees use this call during mobbing of predators, as an alarm, to maintain flock cohesion, as an all-is-clear signal after a predator that startled a flock has seemingly left, and even to identify another flock of chickadees. The call can communicate information about a food source, in this case just one or two Ds are added to the end of the call. It can also relay details about a predator, the level of threat posed, its size, and if it is moving or stationary. In this case, the chickadee call has changed to an alarm call, with the amount of Ds at the end of the call increasing by five or more. When you hear five or more Ds added to the end of this call, then you know there is a predator of some sort near. And the more Ds added, the greater the threat. For example, as many as 23 added Ds have been counted by researchers when chickadees were presented with a pygmy owl, a very dangerous predator to chickadees. However, when presented with a not-so-threatening predator, a large bird of prey, the great horned owl, the amount of Ds were much less, only about five. Years of observing the chickadees in my area closely has helped give me a general idea of what kind of predator is near when the chickadees alarm call. Such an incredibly loaded call for such a small songbird, one worth paying attention to. Fabi song. Many people should be familiar with this call. It is mostly made by male black-capped chickadees and can be heard throughout the year, but more so in late winter and especially during spring. Often, the Fabi song is described as sounding like Hey Sweetie, which fits perfectly since one of the reasons males sing it is to attract and arouse females. So yeah, Hey Sweetie. It is also and more funnily described as sounding like Cheeseburger. This call consists of two clear tones that last approximately one second in total. The first note, Fi, is higher in pitch than the second note, B. Also, the second note has a very short amplitude break in the middle which is audible at close range. For example, B E for B E. It turns out that this call is a rather complex one too. Those chickadees sure know how to communicate. Give them some time and their language skills will be as good as ours. It is used to signal aggression to other males, to defend a territory, and to attract and arouse females. During the breeding season, a prolonged version of Fabisan can be heard at dawn. It seems that higher ranking males sing more during the dawn course than low ranking males and bachelor males sing more than paired males. It is also used in aggressive exchanges during daytime countersinging competitions. Both male and female chickadees listen to the singing competition between males. Male performance during these competitions influences female reproductive behavior and male territorial behavior. To our ears, distinguishing between two different males singing the Fabi song would probably be next to impossible. Chickadees, however, pick up on subtleties we miss. Studies have shown that male chickadees can tell who is who just by listening to males sing. Through these songs, they can also tell who is the more dominant male on the block. This is because the Fabi call of each male chickadee is unique. For young and inexperienced males, this comes in handy because they can eavesdrop and figure out who is who in the neighborhood. Broken D. Probably my favorite chickadee call, the broken D can only be heard during the breeding season and if you do hear this call then you know you have yourself a female black capped chickadee because only females make it. Its primary function seems to be to encourage her mate to bring her some grub. 
It is also thought to help with cementing the bond between the pair. How sweet. Gargle. This call is an aggressive, rapid vocalization. Like the chickadee call, it is apparently very complex and varies a lot between different populations of black-capped chickadees. Gargle calls may be used by a dominant bird to declare that a food item is his if another chickadee was about to take it. It is also used when one chickadee intrudes on another chickadee's territory, or if two chickadees in a flock get too close together. These gargle calls can be heard all throughout the year, but much more so in winter flocks. Gargles can also be given in a sexual context, sometimes during a male's dawn course performance. Such gargles are not associated with aggression, but are often associated with copulation. I came across some interesting information about this call from earbirding.com, which stated that researchers who have studied this often overlooked call for decades say that it may actually fulfill more of the traditional song functions than the whistled songs like the fabi. So you know, not all chickadees have a whistled song. However, gargles can be heard from all North American chickadee species. Like traditional songs, gargles are learned. It's been shown that captive black cap chickadees do not develop proper gargles in the absence of an adult tutor. Individual birds typically produce several different types of gargles forming a repertoire. In most or all species, the gargles are given primarily by males and are associated with dominance and territorial defense. They are actually really complex, being made up of many different note types. For all of these reasons, it's been suggested that in the chickadee species that don't also whistle, the gargles can be considered the song. This gets more interesting because if this is correct, then black-capped Carolina and mountain chickadees that do whistle really have two songs, the whistled song and the gargle. Bagging D. Only heard during late spring and throughout summer, this call is made by the adorable, fledgling black-capped chickadees to obtain food from their parents as well as to let their parents know where they are. Honestly, unless they are napping, there is rarely a moment when they aren't making this bagging D call, and it's so adorable. By the time they are ready to be on their own, the bagging D turns to the typical chickadee call pattern adults make. Seat. A common call made all throughout the year by both sexes, this call is used almost constantly and by undisturbed birds, just casually doing their typical chickadee stuff. Its function is to signal the caller's location to other members of the flock who are very nearby. It may also be used in encounters with individuals they don't know, so it's a kind of contact call. Past studies have suggested that this common contact call is a learned one. High pitch C. If you hear this call, then you know a cool raptor is near, because chickadees use this call when they see one quickly flying by or when one attacks. When this call is given, which is mostly by males, all the other chickadees immediately stop everything they are doing and remain motionless until they hear a chickadee call letting them know all is clear. When I hear this call, I know that there is a fast moving predator, most likely a bird of prey, flying nearby. Chatter call. This rapid call is given by dominant chickadees after a chase. I couldn't find much more about this call, but I can give my own observations. I don't hear this call very often, but when I do, it's during spring. One male I knew very well, Alpha, gave me that lovely recording one spring day. Interestingly, he had not been chasing after any other chickadees and was alone. It seemed to be a part of his other territorial calls, like the gargle and fabi. I played the recording back to him, and this was how he reacted. As you can see, his behavior changed instantly. He started shivering his wings and using one of his gargle calls. Chickadees truly are interesting birds that are worth paying attention to. Make no wonder so many people love these little masked bandits. Of the eight black cap chickadee calls I went over, which ones did you find the most fascinating? For me, I think it would have to be the gargle calls, just because they seem so much more complex than I was aware of. Plus, they are pretty neat calls. And one more thing, I just wanted to remind you of the Birds Make Me Happy shirts. 
They are available until the 15th of this month, so if you would like to have one, check out the link in the description. Thanks so much for your time and support. Happy birding!